Good morning, everybody. It's 647. Today's a new day, so let's give you more tips and more facts on the solar eclipse that's coming up on Monday. This is the sun, and as that eclipse begins at 155 here in the heart of the Fox 17 viewing area in Grand Rapids, maximum eclipse will be 94% here in Grand Rapids. We are not in the path of totality, so 94 out of 100%. That occurs at 311. This is about what it will look like, and then that uh, will eventually end at about 424. So anywhere from about, we'll say, 2 o'clock in the afternoon till about 4:30 is where you want to look for it. But the height of it is going to be at 311. This is the path of totality where we're going to see 100% of the sun eclipse. For example, Indianapolis 307 and then as we get into uh, the Cleveland area at 315 and we're out of that path of totality. As you look at the wider path, it's going to come up through Texas, Arkansas, right into Indiana and Ohio. Indianapolis 100% of totality at 307. Grand Rapids at 311, 94% there. The further south and east you go, closer to that path of totality, uh, the more that number goes up there, but uh, Jackson will be at 312, Lansing at 312, Detroit 99% of 100% at 314, and then Cleveland at 315. They are also in the path of totality, so they'll see 100%. As we look at live dopper radar, a couple of showers over western Allegan County right now and out over Lake Michigan. I think a lot of our morning will be dry, but there's more rain that's going to be moving our way that develops later this morning and through the afternoon hours. And there could be a rumble of thunder, but we're not really looking for severe weather. The real severe weather threat and it's a sizable threat will be across uh, northern portions of Kentucky and most of Ohio right there. That's a level four out of five. That's a moderate threat for severe weather development. There may be some long live long track tornadoes in those areas today. As we look at our temperatures, we're about 40, 42, 43 degrees across our southern counties, 38 in Charlotte, Hastings, Middleville, Hopkins, Grand Rapids. Granville is also 38 degrees. We're 38 in Cedar Springs and 36 in Big Rapids. We have a little bit of a wind out there right now coming in out of the east at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. That's going to ramp up at about 15 to 25 miles per hour as we go through the day. 45 degrees today. It won't feel like it because it's going to be cloudy, windy, cool, likely some rain showers, a few rumbles of thunder with that east wind at 15 to 25 miles per hour. You can see that on future track, all the rain showers with some heavier pockets, maybe a rumble of thunder. This is all being driven by an area of low pressure, which is going to come up right over the top of central and southern lower Michigan. There's colder air on the backside of that, so there's heavy snow for Wisconsin, but not for us. But once we wrap some of the colder air in here, we'll see a change over to snow showers overnight and then through Wednesday and Thursday. And this system just kind of meanders and pivots and pinwheels through the Great Lakes. So we're under the influence and the grip of it with the cloudy skies and the precipitation right on through Thursday. And then we should finally kick that out of here. We hope to see some sunshine working in here by Friday. How much rainfall are we talking about? Probably a solid half inch to an uh, half inch to an inch before all is said and done and that system moves out and just a little bit of snow just enough to kind of turn the ground white 45 today 42 tomorrow with some snow showers tomorrow morning mixing with some rain showers on Wednesday afternoon rain or snow showers on Thursday Friday we hope to see some sunshine by the way if you're going to the Tiger opener I have a forecast for that. For some reason, that's not going to work, though. I don't know what's going on. Let me try that one more time. Nope, that's not going to work. Only going to be in the 40s, and it's going to feel like 30s. I'm going to see partly sunny skies on Friday in Detroit. We'll see some sunshine with increasing temperatures, and by eclipse day on Monday, partly sunny, chance of a shower, highs around 60. That's our forecast at 651. Here's traffic with Rob.